many liquids are not pure elements or even compounds, but instead they're various chemical compounds all mixed in together, and not actually chemically bound to each other. In order to make best use of these chemical compounds, these mixtures generally need to be separated and purified. One of the methods used is called fractional distillation. So what is fractional distillation and how does it work? Well, some things can be separated by filtering, magnetism, allowing the liquid to settle, or even evaporation. However, some miscible liquids, like crude oil, which contains many different chemical compounds, are virtually impossible to separate using any of these methods. So instead, fractional distillation is used. Now, each of the hydrocarbons in crude oil has a different boiling point. So in theory, it's going to be used to separate out each of the components. As you've probably seen, when you heat up a pan of water, it starts to produce considerable amounts of water vapour well before it's reached the boiling point. It means that just heating up the crude oil, taking away the gas around boiling point for each compound, isn't going to result in very pure products being obtained. So instead, in fractional distillation of crude oil, the oil is heated up to turn it into gas. As a warm gas rises through a tall tower, slowly cools various steps along the way. There are trays or collection points allowing different liquids to be extracted as they condense. This condensing of liquids results in crude oil producing fairly pure results. However, it just require substantial amounts of energy to boil the crude oil and heating crude oil, there is always the potential risk of something going catastrophically wrong. In addition, plants require the construction of quite robust tall towers to allow for the condensing of the various liquids involved. And the plants need to have a regular supply of crude oil. It's likely to be the end of the fuel pipeline on the coast where tankers can deliver the crude oil. Generally though, by carefully controlling all the known inputs to the system, there are very few variables to make anything go wrong. However, hydrocarbons that make up crude oil generally long chains of carbon atoms surrounded by hydrogen atoms. Now, the longer the chain of the carbon atoms generally means that the chemical has a higher boiling point, tends to flow poorly, and doesn't ignite easily. But if they are able to be ignited, they give off more energy. It means that some of the really rather long chains of hydrocarbons aren't that useful. So instead, these go through a process known as cracking. There are various methods of cracking using combinations of pressure, heat, steam, catalysts, and hydrogen gas. These result in those long chains of carbon atoms being broken or cracked into two smaller chains, resulting in a more useful product. The cracking and fractional distillation normally take place in the same plant as processing crude oil, turning into useful hydrocarbons.